When we talk about extremism, where does the story start? Is it when a youth is enlisted as a soldier of war? A youth seeks refuge in drugs? A child grows up believing she is hated? Or is it when a child goes to bed hungry? A daughter sees violence in her home against her mother? A family cannot afford education? Isn't it really when a child has no hope? What is needed for young people to reach their fullest potential? To be able to live in a world where the next generation is growing into healthy, emotionally balanced, and secure individuals. How can they reach their potential as the future leaders, the future legislator, educator, mother, father, engaged citizen? Legacy envisions such a future and works practically and collaboratively to achieve it by bringing together diverse people to address common problems and promoting strong, values-based civil society. Since 1979, Legacy has trained and mentored youth, business professionals, government and NGO administrators, and religious and community leaders in countries on five continents. We have created two training technologies that form the foundation for our programs and are designed to respond to the call of others to help me do it by myself. The first of these focuses on leadership and capacity building, and the second is our side-by-side -side tolerance training. Legacy uses a very specific training technology that gives proven results. Whether we are working with leadership development among teens, professional development with adults, or a capacity building consultation with an NGO, the methodology is basically the same. We begin with the character and values of the people and society we are working with, emphasizing the aspects that are needed for effective, positive leadership. This is the foundation. Then, through certain training experiences, Legacy aims to inspire a vision, a vision of what is possible. Because we believe if people lack hope, if they can't see a future for themselves, their families, and their communities, that is what turns them towards extremism. To that foundation, we add a specific knowledge and skills training tools that can be actively used to address real and present needs. Many programs stop there with training. But upon this foundation, Legacy adds yet another element, application. We ask participants to choose an issue or need in their community that they are particularly concerned about and to apply what they have learned in a project or initiative. We provide mentoring and support through the application phase as they gain insight, problem-solving skills, and a true grasp of what it means to work for positive change in their communities. From that point, a participant becomes independent of legacy support and is able to operate with great effectiveness on their own. This training methodology has been successfully used to train adults and youth in schools and communities around the world, including our training of youth and teachers in 105 schools in New York City, in our work with Bosnian and Herzegovan youth, and in our Indonesian youth leadership program. One Indonesian youth, Mustafa, wanted to address the rising voice of extremism in his Byzantron, a traditional Islamic school. In this clip, you will see how Mustafa took the leadership training Legacy provided and created a project that jump-started his Byzantron, modernizing curricula, promoting democratic ideals, and encouraging critical thinking among young and old. We try to promote the open-minded writing and news uh, by discuss a group, by discuss communities, we uh, discuss uh, many issues uh, by Islamic perspective and also other uh, social uh, theory perspective. This project is uh, sustainable because first 
uh, people in the sense right now that this project is important. The second, because uh, this project is uh, this project has a contribution in Santi achievement. A third, uh, this project enable uh, the environment of the Santren to access uh, the outside world. In the Palestinian-Israeli conflict, Legacy designed programs and utilized its training technology to bring participants to this highest level. Mohammed Darashi was a staff member who later opened our office in the Middle East. Legacy organized dialogue projects with service components in the U.S., Israel and Egypt. This particular clip is from a tour of summer camps when Muhammad and a team of Israeli Arab, Jewish and Palestinian youth traveled across the United States to share their perspectives with American youth. I have lots of books, hundreds of books that I can use to prove that it's more Palestinian land than, than in its Jewish land. And you can also, the same thing as I said, you can use hundreds of books proving that it's Jewish land more than it's Palestinian land. The question is, and that's a change that I, I had in my life, so what? And the question is not how to get rid of the other side. The question is how to live side by side. We've been challenging each other in the most disgusting way, which is killing each other in the last 70 years. Aren't we sick of that already? 20 years later, Mohammed points to his training with legacy as his moral compass specifically noting the importance of Legacy's cross-cultural expertise, knowledge, and know-how. Legacy's work today is very, very relevant in many areas. Uh, one, I think, is uh, the Middle East uh, or uh, Eastern culture uh, versus Western culture rift has gotten uh, much uh, wider in the past few years. Legacy's ability to uh, bridge uh, uh, that trip is much better than many other uh, organizations or groups, mainly because of uh, the understanding of the cultural aspects of, uh, of the issue. And uh, I think that uh, this area of intervention is probably one of the most critical areas of intervention needed today. These are just a few of our many success stories. We estimate that more than 650,000 people around the world have benefited from the work of Legacy International through direct services and the initiatives created by our alumni. That's about one in every 10,700 people that has been touched by our work. As the president and founder of Legacy said, each of us is shaping history. Each of us can help to direct the course of the future toward greed, self-centeredness, and violence, or toward peace, security, and well-being for all. We invite you to join us in this vision of the future, a future of peace, security, and well-being.